Someone asked the question the other day, how do you set your machine to do gathering stitches? And so I wanna help you guys talk through this. First of all, there's a million different ways that you can do gathering stitches and everybody has their favorite methods. Some people use a gathering foot, some people do it on their serger. There are, like I said, a million ways to do it. I'm an old school person. I like to do the simple two row method and I'm gonna show you that today. You want the longest length stitch on your machine to do a gathering stitch. So you'll go up to your machine setting and you'll up your stitch length to usually a five is the highest that it will go. Now, another way that you can do a basting stitch, sometimes machines are built in with this function. And as you can see, this 1-07 on mine, that's a basting stitch. And basically what that is, is just the longest length stitch. As far as tension goes, you could take your tension down just a little bit for this if you want, but it really is not a huge issue if you don't wanna mess with your tensions. So I have my machine set for a basting stitch. Now, let's say that this is the top of my skirt that I'm gathering for this example. I want to put in two rows of basting stitches. Why two rows, you ask? Great question. One row is not enough. When you're pulling on the thread to tighten up that fabric, one row of stitches is very prone to breaking. And if it does, that means you have to start the entire process over again. So what I'm going to do is sew at one eighth of an inch. Let's say that for this project, my seam allowance is a half an inch. As long as your two measurements are smaller than one half of an inch on that basting stitch, you will be fine. They just need to fall within your seam allowance. So I've got one eighth of an inch. Use your needle lift button or you can raise it with manually with your hand crank and get the needle up. Lift your presser foot and squeeze that, that thread and pull it out and leave a tail. You absolutely need to do this in order to get a good tail to pull to gather the stitches. And we're gonna throw in another set of stitches. And what I usually do is just do it at one eighth of an inch against the first row of stitches. You wanna keep them pretty close together, but you do not wanna cross them over because that will make it very, very difficult to gather the stitches. Lift your needle, lift your presser foot, pull it out. So here's how you gather it. You're going to separate the top threads and the bottom threads. So all I do is start zushing it down the thread while holding on to the end and just very gently pulling. And I don't pull way up here. I pull just a little bit down onto the fabric and that usually gathers it nice and easy. There you go. That's how I sew gathers. Like and follow for more sewing tips and let me know if you have questions in the comments.